You know, your pearly whites can hold more power than you think. A number of recent studies link attractive, whiter teeth to improved professional success. So what does this really mean for your employment future? Well, Dr. Youssef Obeid is here now to help us figure out all the details. Good to have you here. Thank you for having Pleasure me. Pleasure to see you. Um, I see more and more people these days sporting whiter teeth. And, and you, you see, oftentimes, as people age, their teeth are not necessarily doing so because they are indulging mm -hmm. in what we've just been talking about mm -hmm. here. So you're obviously seeing this yourself. Absolutely. I mean, naturally, teeth will get darker with age, and we can do much more to uh, accelerate the process through our diet, our food, our drinks, wine, smoking, a lot of different habits can, uh, yeah. can affect that. And uh, people are doing it because it, it does have proven results, and just in the way they feel about themselves and the way that other people react to them? Well, let's, let's, uh, let's put it this way. I mean, we live in a society where our outside appearance has a lot to do uh, uh, with our feeling whether we like to admit it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, in fact, uh, people who have a nice, brighter smile tend to smile some more. I mean, they project yes. an image of uh, self-confidence, uh, positive energy, uh, and success. Yeah, uh, and you actually, on, on the opposite end of the scale, you actually see people who may not, may not have good teeth or who are uh, embarrassed by their teeth will often literally hide their mouths when they're, when they're laughing or they don't want people to see them smiling. Absolutely, absolutely. You see that often. And the first thing that I will tell, you know, when, I, when the patients come into the office is you see how they react, you know. You, the first thing that they do when they start to, uh, mm. you know, hide their yes. smile, you know that there is something behind that. Right. So have you had people come into your office and say, my life has been transformed, or I feel so much better about myself since I've started using these whitening products? Yes. Uh, a lot of times we get people in the office that they want to do some whitening uh, before special occasions, wedding, uh, uh, job interview, uh, public speaking occasions. Uh, they can get laid off. They want to try uh, for the new jobs, and they think, okay, well, they heard about that bright smile can mm -hmm. open some doors for them, so they come in and they try to, uh, to get some help mm -hmm. achieving that. So let's get into some of the actual products here uh, and, and how intensive mm -hmm. the process is of whitening your teeth. Let's start right here. You have this product. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh, this is this is one of the products that uh, we get to uh, give it to the patients after we do a uh, clinical exam. You know, mm -hmm. we let, uh, you know, there is two categories for uh, teeth discolorations, one that is superficial, and one that is deep. The superficial. Uh, Staining can be uh, can be cleaned by your regular hygiene, uh, your uh, dental uh, mm -hmm. dental cleaning. If it's too deep of uh, of discolorations, you really need to uh, to get help from uh, from profession. I see. And this is one of the that's, products that's that when we get to see you, we will give it to you so you can use it at home. Uh, depending on the concentrations, you can use it for an hour a day. If your teeth will become sensitive, then you use it less, and you use it less often. Mm -hmm. Plus, you have the uh, uh, the in-office uh, bleachings where we can you can sit in the chair, and then the dentist will uh, <coughs> will put some some gel on your yeah, teeth yeah. and uh, uh, and you, under a light or no light. And, and always the active ingredient in these products is peroxide, correct? Peroxide, yes. Uh -huh. Different form, different uh, concentrations, but it is uh, peroxide. Mm -hmm. And uh, is, is there any negative, any adverse effects from the use of peroxide in your mouth or on your teeth? Uh, not necessarily. I think most of the time we get to hear from patients that the teeth become a little bit more sensitive, that their gums started to get uh, a little painful, and we tell them, you know, that they might have to uh, reduce uh, the amount that they are using or uh, alternate nights uh, mm -hmm. or use some kind of a special toothpaste that has a desensitizer built in it mm -hmm. uh, uh, to help. But the peroxide itself, as long as you use it uh, as a construct, uh, contracted, then it uh, should Let, be fine. Let's take a look at some of the over-counter products here. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is an over-counter uh, product mm -hmm. we can find at CVS. Right? Uh -huh. Yes, uh, it's, uh, it's a mouth rinse that has a little, uh, small percentage of peroxide. Uh, uh, it mm -hmm. doesn't give you the, uh, the type of uh, uh, smile that you can get from professional uh, grade, but yeah. it's one step. And, and toothpaste come with uh, the peroxide as well. Well, it, it is, but uh, remember with toothpaste, uh, uh, it, it will affect only the superficial uh, discoloration. I it see. does not deal with the inside, with the deep uh, discoloration. So if you want to really get that deep uh, cleaning and deep whitening and that sparkly white, you, you might need to uh, get more into mm -hmm. uh, the product that can be uh, done at the dental office. Well, it certainly is an, an easy step to making a, for a better appearance. Uh -huh. and, and in this day and age where a lot of people want to put their best face forward, <laughs> this is an easy way to do it. Absolutely, yes. Dr. Youssef Obeid, thank you so much.